What's up everyone? It's your boy Mike here from Legacy Entrepreneurs. We're gonna talk about today. What are you waiting for? Seriously, let me ask you one more time. What are you waiting for? The number one thing that holds people back from starting their business is excuses, right? And there's five excuses that I'm gonna go over today that hopefully if you could get past these, you could get started in your own business and live your life and live your dreams of becoming an entrepreneur. So let me just say it one more time because I'm really passionate about it. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the perfect time? Because that's the number one thing is there's never gonna be a perfect time, right? There's never going to be where the, the heavens just open up and it's just everything's perfect and you start your own business. So let's go through these excuses one by one and we'll talk about them each individually. Number one thing is people will say, I need more money, right? Financially, I'm just not in a good place to start my own business. Okay, here's the thing. You're never gonna have enough money, right? It's not necessarily how many resources that you have, it's your resourcefulness. It's how you can figure out how to get the money that you need to start your business. And the thing is, the more money that you have, the less you're gonna be willing to grind to get your business off of the ground, right? I've seen people who have a lot of money saved and they have a lot of money to invest in their business and a lot of times they're not successful because their back's not up against the wall. They don't feel like they have to go out there. You've gotta have that burning desire. You've gotta have that thing inside of you that's like, man, I gotta go out there and make some money today. Where's my money at? I've gotta make money, right? So you're never gonna have enough money. But here's the thing, if you need to take a season, to get financially prepared if there's you know some big outstanding personal debts that you need to take care of or whatever take care of those but take care of them quickly and in the meantime work on things that are going to help get your business off the ground so that way you can just get started right away so number two that i see is people say oh i'm working at a job right now i'm gonna lose my benefits right i'm gonna lose my health insurance i got stock options you know my 401k all of these things listen you can replace those in your own business. Last time I checked, you could go out there and get health insurance for yourself and for your family, right? So I would say get information and understand how much those things are gonna cost and how much money you need to make to cover those in your business, but that's not a great excuse, right? So number three, it goes right along with that, is the golden handcuffs, right? If you've ever worked in corporate America or you've worked a job, uh, that pays well and gives good benefits and all of that. We call that the golden handcuffs. And a lot of times what people do in organizations and in businesses is they find ways to handcuff you to the business because they're smart, right? They understand that if they have good employees and they keep those employees for a long time, their business is going to be successful. So I've heard people say things like, well, if I work at this company, for 20 years or 15 years or whatever, they'll pay all my student loans off. And I have $100,000 in student loans. And I'm like, okay, let, let's go over the math here, guys. Let, let's take a step back. If you work at a company for 10 years and they pay back your student loans and you have $100,000 in student loans, guess what? They're paying back $10,000 a year. You could easily make that in your own business and cover that yourself. Not to mention in businesses or organizations, generally it's public service that does that. They pay you less. They generally pay you less than what you're worth in the marketplace and they use it as a ploy to keep you as an employee, right? And they'll, you'll get three years in and you'll be like, oh, I only have seven more years. Well, seven years is a long time to be in a job that you don't like or to not be living out your passions of starting your own business. So don't get tied down to the golden handcuffs. In corporate America, we see it all the time with stock options. People lose their stock, they lose their bonus. Sometimes, at some point, you gotta bite the bullet and you just gotta jump in. So number four is you don't know what you're passionate about. You don't know what business to start. And if you haven't checked out my video about what to look for in a business, go ahead and check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. But you've gotta find out what you're good at and what you're passionate about. 
and go through and, and select a business and just jump in, right? And sometimes you're gonna jump into a business and it's not gonna be the idea or the thing that you ultimately end up doing, but at least it gets you out there. So don't get discouraged. Don't feel like you have to have the perfect business idea. Don't feel like you have to have everything together, right? And that actually ties into the fifth point of why people don't just jump right in is they wanna ease their way into it. And this is going to, to kill your dreams. Complacency kills your dreams, right? So if you wanna ease your way into it, one thing you have to realize is the longer that it takes you to do the thing that you wanna do, the harder it's going to be. You're gonna get discouraged, you're gonna think that it's impossible, you're gonna overcomplicate it. You have to throw yourself in there and just get it done, right? Nothing is going to teach you more than just doing it. So don't try to wait for the perfect timing, the perfect idea for you to have all the money that you're going to need. Just go and do it, right? And be resourceful. So if you have to get a side hustle, if you have to continue to work full time at your job and do your business on nights and weekends or whatever you have to do to get your business off the ground, do it because you will be thanking yourself later three years down the line or five years down the line. That's how it always works. So we'll do a separate video on that on you know the benefits of owning a business, but you it, it, you cannot wait, right? What are you waiting for? Just go out there and get your goals and get your dreams. And if you wanna be an entrepreneur or a business owner, it's time to just go out and do it, guys. So remember, if you guys need anything, you need help, reach out, out to us at our Legacy team. You can find us on Facebook, Legacy Entrepreneurs Mastermind. We'll be happy to help you guys. And as always, remember, let's go! Hey, before you go, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Let's go!